The truck in this problem is traveling west, so its momentum, mass times velocity, is also to the west, in the negative x direction. The car is traveling to the north, so its velocity and momentum are in that direction. We're asked in part A to find the x and y components of the system's momentum. The system is the sum of the truck and the car, so the system's momentum, capital P, equals the sum of the truck's momentum plus the car's momentum. That's mass times velocity, each for the truck and for the car. The truck's velocity has a magnitude of 14 meters per second, and it's in the negative x direction. The car is traveling to the north, so its velocity is in the y direction. When you calculate this, you find the x component is negative 3.50 times 10 to the fourth x hat, and the y component is 3.45 times 10 to the fourth y hat, kilogram meter per second. And I'll just write those results over here so that we'll have them when we solve part B. Part B asks us to find the magnitude and direction of this momentum. Here are the components, x and y, and the system's momentum is shown in red. It has this magnitude, capital P, and this direction, theta. Find the magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. When you substitute numbers, factoring out the times 10 to the fourth and the units, you find that the system's momentum has a magnitude of 4.91 times 10 to the fourth kilogram meter per second. We'll find the angle theta using the inverse tangent function. It's the inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite to adjacent sides in the triangle on the left. We substitute the magnitudes of those components to get the length of each component and calculate to find that the angle is 44.6 degrees north of west, which you can also write as 45.4 degrees west of north.